Uh, you know, hey, welcome to the new season. I, I'm just so excited uh, to be able to get out. Simon Frazier is a very good test for us. This is a very well-coached team. Um, they won by 72 nights ago and scored over 100 points. You know, so uh, this was a really good opportunity for us to get out and be tested with our defense and obviously our offensive execution. Um, I, as you guys saw, we've got a lot of weapons. We've got a lot of weapons on both ends of the floor. And I thought uh, for the 14 kids that suited up tonight, they were ready to play and they gave us great minutes. So, um, you know, very pleased with our first start. Because Carly Noyes, 33. Lee, what's your number? Three. Number three, Leah Gadera. Questions? Well, she got a lot of just kind of generic stuff, uh, kind of more season outlook, because we haven't talked to you guys yet this year. I'm from Krem, too. Um, yeah. You guys have three starters back, yet uh, you're picked to, pick to uh, finish. Tenth in the pack, 12. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. is that, does that kind of use you guys a little bit, that you have some returning talent, yet not a lot of respect coming your way? Yeah, well, you know, you got to remember that this group uh, took third place in the Pac-12 tournament last year, and, and uh, that core group, even though we lost four seniors, that core group is back. And they have and Carly and and Irity and Katie Grad, they've been phenomenal leaders. And the, we've had the best offseason we've had. It was such a confidence builder to win and be one game away from the finals in the Pac-12 tournament. They came back. They, got, uh, they definitely got more skilled. They worked really hard on their strength and conditioning. So we had a great offseason. And now you come back with that experience, that motivation, that confidence, and you add six players uh, that are obviously very, very talented. And we're pretty excited about our opportunities to build on uh, finish a little bit higher than number 10. Do you, do you look around the room and do you kind of pinpoint a couple of players that you, you figure you're going to be leaning on a little heavier more than, more than some of the others? Well, obviously you, you look at your upperclassmen because of how talented they are and obviously their experience as, as players. They know how tough it is in the Pac-12 and they know that, we, you know that we're playing a very, very uh, competitive preseason. Uh, I think ours is second to Stanford in RPI and strength of schedule once again. So these guys will lead us through it. And meanwhile, we've got to get this talented young group ready. And we've got some really nice sophomores in between and juniors in that class as well. How, uh, how big is this? You kind of already touched on it. This, you guys are playing a pretty darn good non-conference schedule. How important is it going to be to, to test this team before you get into a conference that you're already going to have a bunch of tough games just in your own conference alone? Well, it, you know, we, we have never scheduled cupcakes at any time in my life as a coach. And, uh, you know, last year we went 6-6 six and six in preseason, had a 30 RPI and a 7th strength of schedule when we came into the Pac-12. Unfortunately, we had some injuries, but to the credit of these upperclassmen, they kept the kids going, we got some kids healthy, and again, we rolled back around and finished third in the conference tournament. Uh, this year's the same thing. I mean, we, we want to be champions, and to be champions, you've got to play the best. And that's why we picked a, a, a wonderful, I think an outstanding a, a exhibition opponent in Simon Fraser. Um, and we'll see the same thing with Western Oregon coming up. But this, th we coached them tonight, we subbed them tonight like we would in, in the games in regular season so that they could get ready and know how it feels. I love the fact that they were ready to play each and every one of them. They stepped out there in whatever role they were given and really responded well. Carly, talk about the defense tonight. I mean, almost 20 steals, something a, a little bit different where you're, everyone's flying around the court as, as a senior. What's, what's the difference this year? Um, I just think we have a whole new uh, energy level this year with our new, new people on the floor and our returners. I just think our defense really carried our team tonight, and hopefully we can keep playing like that throughout the season. Uh, Leah, talk about your first game under the lights. Defense, you were flying all around. Uh, you know, Double-digit points, steals, and rebounds. Just uh, talk about your first night. Oh, it was fun. It felt good. I mean, it's been a while since I've played since high school, so getting back on the court was kind of a reward. So. And coach, now where do you go from here? Another exhibition. You kind of get the players into a routine of yeah. like, getting some rest and then hitting the practice floor and yeah. on the scout I, again. I mean, obviously we're we're pleased with the outcome. There's a lot of things to work on. They know it and, and all that and. Uh, but, you know, we, we don't have any time to slow down. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, and we'll get after it tomorrow afternoon, you know, over at Beasley. But I like one of the things that I really liked, and you alluded to it with the defense, is both halves. We started very strong both games with our defense leading us, leading us. And if we can do that every game, then we don't have to put as much pressure on our offense. So it was great to see those first eight, nine minutes where I thought we really wrecked havoc against Simon Frazier. Coach, a little more for you. Just, uh, it, I know it's, it's a challenge sometimes down here to get people in the seats out there. And the style of basketball you guys are playing, at least in this game, it looks like it's going to be some fun. I mean, what do you have 
Do you feel like you can do anything else to try and get people to come out and, and see you guys play? Well, you know, winning, it always brings people into the stands. I mean, uh, you know, I, I'm proud of, of the fact that we continue to build the attendance down here. And, and I think that when, when you guys cover us and the word gets out of how talented we are this year, we have a lot of weapons. We have a lot of weapons and they're a lot of fun to watch. And I think if we continue to play with this high level of energy and enthusiasm, I think you're crazy not to come to Beasley and watch us play. So we're just going to keep doing our thing. And I think if we keep winning, people will come. I just had a quick question about the uh, difference of the two halves. Um, what do you think was really working in the second half that wasn't in the first? Um, I thought that we did a better job of fronting their posts and not giving them the easy interior passes. And I thought the, the other thing is that we really buckled down on, on our, what we call our shot hit, our boxing out, and not allowing them to have as many easy rebounds. We were down, uh, I think, neg negative 13 the half on, on the rebounding and things, and that's, that's not who we are. And I think everybody bought into the fact that we need to get out there and take care of the glass, especially on our home court.